Okay, okay. Well, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy JRK, and I wanted to show y'all something, all right? It's been a while since I did some dumbed down tutorials, okay? I know I've been my little hiatus and whatnot, but look. Figured I might as well show y'all a saucy combo, okay? But we gotta dumb it down because a lot of us don't understand frames and 2 H's, 2 M's, 2 this and that, okay? Now, for those who don't know, if you have a keyboard, look at your keyboard. Look at it. You see that number pad on it where it's like 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Okay, if you don't know by now, that's the directions. So if I be like, yo, a 5H, you see that 5 in the middle? That means you just gotta hit the H. The H means heavy, all right? Cool, we got that out the way, good. All right, there goes your intro to certain things that I might say that might sound whatever, but I'm still gonna dumb that down too, all right? So let's get into the picture of this. So you wanna know how to do these orb loops, right? You wanna do the loop, you wanna do this? Okay, he was too high in the air. I'll, I'll hold that. Feet. Something like that, right? You know, that that's like the short version of it. I'm going to show y'all the short version, because trying to show y'all the advanced, it's kind of hard to dumb down something that advanced, all right? It's like me trying to dumb down trigonometry or something, you know what I'm saying? Pretty difficult, but you know what I mean. All right, so to start this off, you're obviously going to need, you're going to need them to be at a certain height. So, you're gonna always start off with a low into that, okay? Just a low 2M to a 5M. 2M to 5M, okay? 2M, the low, 5M. Easy stuff, right? We were really dumb this down. The only reason why I say they have to be a certain height is because you have to do that. They have to be up there, which means this uh, second orb, it has to still be active. You see how that orb is still standing there? It has to be there, so you can't do you can't do that, right? Because that orb goes away. So the whole point of this combo is to leave one orb standing there, okay? Got it? You understand the concept now? Now, in order to do this, when you do the EX ball kicky move, when you do this move, hold up. A lot of people don't realize if you hold down, there's different properties, whether you press nothing, whether you hold down, or if you just hold up. See what I'm saying? Now, if you hold up in this situation, 2M, 5M, and then the EX bubble into up, hold up, you get this. Now, if I press nothing, I don't get that same property. You see what I'm saying? If I hit low, still nothing. See what I mean? All right, we there? We there. All right. So, after 2M, 5M, you do that up. Now, they're going to fall to a certain length. This is going to be the hardest part for you, okay? But, that's why I'm here. You're going to wait till they get to a certain height. So you see how Goku's falling? I'd say count to like one Mississippi or something, and then call out your orbs right there, okay? As soon, then you call out your six orbs. So put it all together. He's too high in the air. You see that? That's what happens when they are too high and you do that. See, so you're gonna, so when they get to a certain height, when they get right there, you're gonna 2H. You're going to 2H, you're going to knock that orb. Now, there's a beautiful property here with Beerus here, okay? A lot of y'all don't know. So, if I try to 2M and then 6 orb, I can't do it, right? I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to mash the orb button to do my 6 orbs, I can't do it, right? Now, if I 2H this, these are just simple properties that a lot of people don't know. If you hit the orb at all, in any way, you get, you can immediately go into that. So that's why if you see that combo, you're like, I don't know how the fuck to do that. That's why, okay? So you'll notice certain situations where I'm full of screen, I'll just do this. Because Beerus can get away with that shit, okay? In order for you to understand how to do these combos, I gotta dumb the shit down all the way, alright? So here you go. So, now let's put it all together. Well, some of it together. You got that. Now you see that, right? You saw that. You got to a certain height. I 2 h the orb, and right after you 2 h immediately, like, immediately go into the six orbs. You're going to hit them, they're going to bounce up and fall right into the six orbs, okay? Simple. Now, there's a feature in this game that they added. 
after you do any button, if you hold the X button, you automatically get a super jump. A for those on Xbox or whatever, you know. But after you do anything, if you're just holding X at the end of it, so like after he bounce, after I do my six orbs, he bounces up. Just hold X, and then if you jump, every jump after that is going to be a super jump. I say that because it's crucial. Because if you try to super jump afterwards the regular way by hitting down up. It's gonna make the combo ten times harder, okay? It's gonna take you some practice, but that's what I mean. So you saw that, right? So after I super jump, right after you hit that super jump. So after you do the super jump, what you're gonna do is do a medium kick into a light. Not a medium, not a heavy, but a light ground pound, alright? Remember, light, light. That's that. Square button. You, you, if you don't know your lights, mediums, and heavies by now, get away from this video. You don't need to be learning combos. You need to be learning the simple stuff. Go back to layups. Two hand layups. That's what you need to work on. Two hand layups. You don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shame. All right. So after you do the light round and pound, because if you do the light version, then it it leaves one orb on the floor, like I told you. So let's see. You see that one orb right there on the floor? Still here? Okay, so after you do the light ground and pound, then before you hit the floor, before you hit the ground, do another medium kick. You're gonna kick those orbs right towards him, which is gonna leave him in, have air time a little bit longer than expected, you know what I'm saying? So once you kick that, dash up, and then 2H again. Or you can just do this. You know what I'm saying? So after you kick it, after you kick those orbs, then you can immediately just jump right in. Just super jump again. You can do the regular super jump however you want to get to it. It's fine. But once you kick those, you super jump up to it and just continue the combo as is. But you're gonna they're gonna be under so much hit decay, hit stun, that when you try to do this, it's gonna drop. It's gonna drop no matter what. But since you have that one orb sitting on the floor already. Once you knock them down, you're knocking them into that orb and then just go into a ground and pound and you end the combo. So it'll be like this. Now there's a longer version of this. There is. But I don't know if y'all ready for that advent. That's advanced right there. You know what I'm saying? That's like two times two. Oh. But fuck it. Let's try it now anyway. You know what? This might be a little harder than I expected. And there goes your loops! So you pretty much just wash, rinse, and repeat if you want to do the loop version. But that that's advanced, advanced right there. You know what I'm saying? So instead of just automatically jumping up to end the combo, you run in and then do a 2H and just re reset the thing. All right? Now, if there's any questions, if there's any comments, or if there are any concerns, then please let me know, and I'll get y'all on the updated Videl Loops too, because I know I gotta update that shit since they patched it, and I ain't gonna lie, I just figured out how to consistently do Videl Loops, like mid-screen, corner screen, that screen, I just figured out how to do all that shit, alright, so, don't get mad at me, alright, but, there goes your dumbed down tutorials on how to do cool shit with beers. If y'all don't subscribe to this channel, I'm not. Nah, I'm playing. I'm still going to give y'all some tutorials, though. Y'all be easy. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just.